Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Uh, sorry this come up late. I was busy yesterday trying to prep the what I needed. Uh, this is a video for a uh, design team video for Shabba Dabby Doodah. Shell is occupied at the moment. The moment she'll be here pretty soon. Uh, so I'm just actually trying to get my ducks in a row. I've got most everything cut. Uh, but let me show you guys. I hope I'm very excited about this. Uh, we're going to see how it works. I think it's going to, I'm hoping it goes really well, but, uh, we got some of the digitals for Shabby Dabby Duda Tina. So what I am going to do today, uh, I'm going to try to do my cover in one video, so I'm sure we're going to cut some things out. Um, but let me show you guys. I'm sure you remember this. Oh, I tell you. This is the window. The Traveler's Notebook. And, sorry, I dropped my ruler. So, uh, I have a surprise. Um... You know, when we did this, this was the, uh, what we eco dyed it in the, uh, not dyed, but the eco press in the, oh, that die cutter thing she uses, whatever it's called. Uh, so, I got a surprise. Probably, there you can see it. Yes, this is clear vinyl. Uh, I want to wash it one more time. And yes, you guessed right. I am doing the window out of vinyl. Um, so I've actually got my window seal, you know, the uh, window frame. I've got it cut. The stripes to do, which would be this part right here. I got all those cut out. I don't have anything sewn, obviously, because... Uh, <sighs> Um, this was on our table. Shell got a new one. This isn't perfect. I'm kind of trying to go through a whole uh, a vintage house. Uh, the the part I uh, chose for um, the the digital I chose uh, almost kind of reminds me a little bit of a Victorian um, image somewhat. So. Uh, so that's what I, um, got, that's where my thought process was. So I figured, you know, yeah, I might be a little bit, uh, scratched here and there. I'm okay with that because like I said, uh, I, I am okay with that. So, um, we were going to use, we did print these out on paper, her good paper. Um. Uh, when I went to cut one to see how I was going to do it, I messed it up. And I had, uh, this is my white, um, I think it's a linen cotton mix that I got to do my Civil War shirt. Uh, and we've been using it, you know, for all our dyeing and stuff like that. So, just a simple white pattern. Well, this one was as, I didn't, I only ironed so much and I was a little bit short. Well, I wasn't. We weren't thinking um, about where the image was printed, and it printed this way, and we had it moved all the way against the guide. So, but that's okay. This one is the correct way, but that's all right because I got to looking at it, and it is gonna go about right here. Oh, I'm excited about this, guys. I really am. So, that was, uh, that's where my thought process is. So, I've got two of those. I'm going to have a window on front and a window on the back. Um, the squares, the window panes are before, before I sew everything, it, it would be two and a half inches across horizontal and three and a half inches vertical I need eight of those um, if I'm careful I'll be able to get all of it out of one 
piece of vinyl. Good thing is, uh, if I have to, I have plenty more, truthfully. So, uh, it was a pretty good sized table. Um, so two, three and a half, seven inches. Yeah, it's going to be right at what I need. Um, but I should have, should be able to get two. So what I'm going to do is straighten this out. Actually, is that one? No, that one's not straight either. So let me take just a tiny bit of this off. I'm going to have to straighten everything anyway. It's going to be a little bit hard cutting this. Not necessarily... Um, for the reason you might think it's just because it's clear so we're gonna that's gonna be a, a you know have to kind of make sure so hope everyone's having a great Sunday it's um, didn't do tons of stuff this weekend um, just wasn't you know Clyde wasn't feeling it. Shell's really tired. So, two, three and a half. She tried to go to take it. She woke up at, I think, at three. I woke up at five, which is really unusual for me. So, she's going to try to lay down for a little bit, but just wasn't. Oh, no. I need, need that. I need three and two and a half. See, I almost screwed up right there. I forgot I'm cutting horizontal. My iron's ticking behind me. It's not a bomb. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Saturday's video. It was funny. So, and a lot of times when I do cut things like this, I have a tendency to um, I like to move mine a lot of times if I'm cutting it and I leave so I start if I start at the half inch mark sometimes I get discombobulated so it just makes it a little bit easier for me to um, make sure I'm cutting everything right so There's one, there's two, and here's the half. So, cats were a little wound up earlier. Uh, last night was the first night that little Gracie Lynn stayed out, and she did really good. We were really, uh, with Big Brother, you know, not 100% sure how he was going to act, but uh, she she did really good and he did really good so I'm really proud he just loves that little Gracie Lynn so much and of course I'm talking about my little Artie it was sad he you know I had to work I think it was Thursday I think and Shell said he was in the house just crying and she'd show him the Gracie and then he'd sniff her and then walk off and cry and we figured out he was missing me is what it was so um, I told Shell just to take one of my dirty shirts and maybe maybe that would help settle him a down settle him down and he has done it uh, since I've been home so we figured yeah that's definitely what it is is he's he's uh, uh, just sad that I wasn't home so he's quite the little guy he's been loving on me quite a bit this morning him and uh, hard have been so. so one two and a half oh I moved it oh and it's crooked not using my keep meaning to spray this one with my uh, non-slip spray Sounds like Honey Bunny is out. Hi guys. There's my lovely wife. Oh, so. I'm studying in the back room. Yeah. Did you learn anything while you were in there? Uh, no. I did learn that pretty much now, if you're lucky, you can find your own your 
uh, most popular cleaning products at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was. I thought it was so funny, but Dee Dee uh, Farago. Hi, hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. She posted on Facebook that she had found her favorite cleaning products. Oh, how funny! And you know, I was thinking, man, you know, you're an adult when you get excited. You're so about excited about like Clorox uh, toilet cleaner. <laughs> oh, that is too funny, really. <laughs> but in the same boat, I was thinking. Well, you know, I got pretty excited when we found our toilet paper, toilet paper at the store. Yeah, that's true. We did have toilet paper, but some of it was really cheap, and some of it was just different brand. But when we found our brand, we were pretty ecstatic. Yeah. <laughs> now you can find it all over the place, so it's not as that's a good dire thing. now. We might need to stock up on it. Let me use this one. My... This is the one that was uh, that I had sprayed. That other one just, you know, it does uh, slip, and I. So. Well, what's really funny is the comments because they're like, "Oh my God, where did you get that toilet cleanser? I need cleanser. I've been looking for that since the pandemic started." It's so funny, you know. Who would have? <laughs> oh my God, where'd you find that? <laughs> who would have ever thought we'd all be uh, excited about having? Finding toilet paper or the Bleach cleaning or bleach, whatever. <laughs> small things, guys. Small things, huh? <laughs> okay, so I got them cut the width wise. So, one, oh, two, too funny. three and a half. And I just lost it. That's why I do that, as I have a tendency. Lose your mind? Yeah, let's let it lose that one time. Okay. One, two, three and a half so that's i will lose where i'm thank you guys marking. for being so nice on um my horrible video yesterday of my butterflies ah still don't like them <laughs> oh you guys it's okay oh. what do you need oh i was just looking at her big butted butterfly and the first thing come to my mind is, I like big butted butterflies, and I cannot lie. <laughs> in the video, you'll notice I didn't say anything because I whispered in her ear. That's when I decided I was done. Yeah, done. <laughs> you know, that's what that one, she said, I don't remember what she asked, uh, what maybe what I thought, or, and I whispered in her ear, it looks, ear, it looks like it's got a big butt, so... Yeah, you know. So that's how. where it that came from, guys, just so you know. Yeah, you guys know how it is with us. I've been up since two and Oh two, I told three. No, One, since two, two, and I don't know why. Three. And there's a half right here. I tried to take a nap, but it just wouldn't work. Yeah, that's what I was telling them. So, did get a little rain yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. It wasn't much, that's for sure, but. It was like a sprinkle. Yeah. yeah it wasn't anything, really. Yeah, it kind of, it sucked, you know. We need the rain badly you guys here. guys north getting rain? Let us know in the comments below. Yes. <laughs> so, I told them you were planning on doing just one video, right, of this? So you're going to be editing? One video? Well, yeah, I think so. Unless they just want to see more, but I don't think it's necessary. What do you think? I don't know. I don't care. I'm You're just... So helpful. Hey, that's what I'm here for, babe. So, <laughs> one, two, three and a half. Be right here. Yeah, I, well, I lose. I mean, if you want to do the whole thing, you can. You can do two videos. I don't care. Oh, I could do two videos easy. Can you have me that cat? Hold on, babe. Hold her. Oh, I can get it. No, nope. I'll wait. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I never ask me to do certain things. I'm trying to do something else because I do. I Let's lose. The man. Oh, whatever. I just lose things in my mind trying to lose my thoughts pretty easy anymore so 
I'm excited about this. This is... I don't think I told Shell that I had wanted to do this until... It's been a while, I think. while, but we just didn't know if we were going to be able to do it or not. Alright, so... There's one... That's got to be right. See what I mean, guys? If I don't move something... Yep, that's right, right here. Okay. I love that iron. Sure does sound like it's a ticking time bomb. Well, sometimes it startles me. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is Why that? Why is that noise? <laughs> so. Sounds like a bomb fixing to blow up. It does definitely sound like a bomb fixing to blow up. So. <laughs> if you guys ever watched The Mash, I think it was, what was it? I don't know. But oh, it's not uh, the long John. Army Navy game? Yeah, the Army Navy game one where they have the bomb that lands in the uh, an, um, in the compound that's not it didn't explode. So, yeah, that's kind of what it reminds me of every time I hear it start ticking. Probably could turn it down actually right now. I mean, uh, if I get these cut, I need to iron my fabric I have both fabrics for the um, in the wallpaper and for the inside of the journal so the paper we found for the inside of the journal was um, the inspiration for it and that's one reason why we were wanting to do it, but it just... Oh, and I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> Three. Can't focus, huh? No. Well, you guys know me, and you know I am... Well, most of you guys know, uh, but if you're new from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog, I tends to be... Tends to... Tend to be... Tends... Tend to be a realist when I do stuff. So, like, doing anything abstract... Uh, is a little difficult for me so and you also know my motto I don't give a rat's took us well I had decided to I don't give a rat's took us this pattern well let's just say the rat didn't win that time because I just in my mind I could not do it I had to have it and then that's when we had started looking through Tina's digitals and started to figure out how we were going to do this so I did find the pattern that we're going to use in her did it digital so that was a blessing but yeah I the realist in me just could not I had to have it that way and it's still not quite exactly the way I want it but uh, when I look at it I look at it as a um, Oh, uh, well, sunrise or a sunset, you know, the, the color of it. Because you can't very well have anything like a blue. You know, if you have this in one window pane, you couldn't have uh, the other window panes a different color. So that's why we did that. When I found that one, I was pretty excited because that helped me to decide what we were going to do, you know. But yeah, the I was... I even told you, I, I don't care. I don't give a rat behind. I'm doing it. That I'm just going to do it the abstract way and use this fabric as the behind the windows. But I'd be cutting the bird in half. They were too big, too close. I just couldn't do it. I just really tried. I really, <laughs> really did. did. I tried my hardest to say, no, I can do it. I don't care. But no, I just couldn't do it. So, So when we sat down on the computer on her computer and went through the digitals one by one and when I found that one there was a couple I found but that one was the closest to what I really wanted two three and a half so let me double check that real quick cause, uh, so far we don't have to work Monday or Tuesday good oh. lord willing we don't have any privates right 
Well, we do, but it's sometime next week in Durango, oh, okay. so, or this time. week, whatever, you know. He just said, let him know when we're going to be over, you know, and that's fine, you know. I'll have to make a special trip. Well, we will if we don't have any tickets. Okay. So, one of our older customers, we haven't done much for him this, I think, last year. Uh, was we did quite a bit for him at this one project, but then we haven't really. Uh, lighthouse construction. Oh, yeah. So, one, two, nope, yeah. One, two, three. I was hoping I had enough for this cup. When I was looking at it, I figured I did. But yeah, and then, you know, Shell had that fiasco and I ruined I don't one of my I don't give a rat's behind shirts, so <laughs> now we're gonna have to buy me another one. It's all covered in I threw it away, it was all covered in green paint, so Yeah, it was. Nah, it was so bad. Those are like my favorite work shirts. <laughs> my friend said well, I have the one with the rat pulling the butt pulling the donkey or whatever. And but I said, well, I'll only wear that when, uh, a dirty. well, when I have my, when I, I wear the ones I have now when I have a really bad attitude or that <laughs> attitude. And she said, you have that attitude every day. So, <laughs> so, which is true, you know, you guys know how it is with me. I, I, yeah, he does, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing because sometimes we just think too much you know? well we do and that's why you know it's not a mean attitude don't get me wrong that's not what it is it is not a mean attitude it's an attitude where I don't care plain and simple if you like me if you don't I don't care you know like I told Shell I have know, and sometimes it's hard to not care what people yeah about. but and I don't I figured you know what there's only two people on earth that I care about, and that's Shell and Mom. The rest of everyone, if they don't like me, please feel free to not talk to me. I'm quite okay with that. So, so guys, this is our wallpaper. You cannot, I, I, I think you'll see it uh, when it's actually uploaded. Her iPad does not do this. Really justice doesn't. at all the reason why we we went outside yesterday to pick my fabric we were actually going to do a digital of wallpaper but it just wasn't working and the way we would have to cut it to line it up it, it just was too much trouble and we chose this is if you look at it you can't really see it but the flowers uh, the floral is purple and it's actually pretty close to this fabric. So that's when uh, I actually picked a different color. And then Shell happened to see this one. And I said, yep, that's the one. So we put everything back. So that's why we chose this purple. So this will be the wallpaper. I was just ironing it. I hadn't had a chance. I just cut it this morning uh, when I was waiting to start the video. So this will be the inside of the wallpaper. Like I said, I already have my, um, the, um, oh, the inside of the, the junk journal, I already have it, which would be this one right here. So let me show it to you one more time. Uh, I haven't put my sticky crap on it yet. I need to, uh, she laughs every time I do that. I don't know why I don't. Uh, I I did use, but isn't that and and that's why I I went with it. And then if you look at it, um, the color of the decoration is similar to the color of the 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 digital. So I was really excited about that. That that's kind of it's coming together. <laughs> yeah. So it's early. Well, it's not that early. Well, it is. I will. It feels early. It feels early. <laughs> so and these, I'll just let me. I I cut this down to 14 inches. That's the size we normally 
I normally make our junk journals out of. Uh, but it is 10 inches tall, and we don't use, I think it's 10 inches. I might have actually, yeah, it is 10 inches. So I'll have to cut that down probably an inch. And our window is going to be the same size as the one I did on the Traveler's Notebook. It just is, like, I'll be able to do two windows. Shell's thinking, oh, God, how is he, you know, there's all this. you got to think about the center of your spine and how close your windows are going to be to the edge. Well, I was just and need to make sure. it really won't be that big of a deal. We do need to figure out the spine first. Um, I still need to put the sticky crap on it, which uh, I'm not too worried about um, this part, how he has it on there since we printed it in our printer. So I'm not too worried about that, but our blue stuff will. So I will probably, there's no sense of putting it on this whole thing because you got two big windows that are already there that's going to have it on there. So uh, let me iron that. I got that ironed. Let me think here real quick. I think the best thing to do is we'll start sewing the w windows together. And then we'll have to go from there. Uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal, really and truthfully, right now. As long as we get the windows uh, put together, we're okay. Because I can move my images. I don't really want to move them there now. And then all of a sudden realize that I stuck them down. And that's not really where they got to be. I mean, they could be a quarter of an inch off or whatever. So let me... Trying not to. Cats have a bad habit of laying on my stupid. Um, did you tell them about our baby girl? She I did. So big. I did. I actually did tell them that Aww. she stayed out last night and she did really good. We were worried about Artie. Don't Artie loves her to death and he is extremely protective of her. <laughs> Matter of fact, very. Actually, he yells at. Uh, uh, doesn't really do it to me, but he does. Shell, he's like, you leave my baby alone. I told you not to touch her. And <laughs> yeah, he. he I'm like, she's my baby. Leave me alone. It's sweet. I think I, to me, he's like a dad. Truthfully, he. I think that's kind of, that's his baby, and you know, that's just the way it is. So I needed two long pieces, and guess what? I am missing a white piece, ain't I? So I need four long pieces, one, two for each window, and two shorter pieces for each window. And some of this got oh, knocked down and everything. If I don't, I'll have to cut another piece, which uh, was right here. I didn't even realize that I was missing one until just then. Of course, that's always the way it is. Was here, we did move a few things, and I thought I had them, but that's no big deal. I mean, that I have plenty of that white. It's really not that big a deal. I'll just... So we need to measure what I need. Uh, I cut... The strips are all one-inch strips. So... It's not my, oh, there it is, right there. Oh, is it beside me? Yes. Uh, I have this stuff sitting on the, oh, the. So you probably want me to get it for you? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll definitely need it. So. What was that? Uh-oh, is it not charging? It's blinking. Okay, it's not charging, so check all the stuff. Help, it's blinking. I did it. Yeah, it's charging. No, it is. Okay. Sorry. She, uh, uh, the plug has got, was a little loose, so. Uh, let me think here. I got my, there it is right there. So, on this, we got to figure out what's the best way to do this. So, here's my 
plastic pieces. Yep, for each. Uh, see, this was all done. So what I did is I took an, uh, a two-and-a-half-inch piece that looks like between the two windows. So let me have my right here. So actually, I could just do it this way, actually. Yeah, this was the image, so I wrote down what size I'm going to need. Get my Looks like it's going to be a hot day today, they're saying, so that's what they're saying. I'm just using my basting glue to do my, you guys know that that's how I sew. For those of you who have been with us for a while, that's, I don't, or haven't been with us for very long. I don't pin, uh, I, um, because I use a seam guide and it's just easier for me to use my basting glue as my pins. So, uh, that, that. I don't know where my good scissors are. Oh, well. so it's kind of nice not having to work tomorrow. I'm feeling better today. Um, some days, you know, it just gets to you when you hurt all the time. So, oh man, I may end up having to use Honey Bunny's glue. I don't know. Be right there. It is. I just, you know, mine just doesn't stick to plastic too well. I'm trying not to slide it around too much. So, hopefully, the forerunner gets fixed this week. I'm going to call him if it's not done. Say, hey. <laughs> he says, he told me. So I went in and paid him, you know, give him money, and he said, you're just too nice, Clint. That's what happens when you're nice. You get, you have a tendency to get pushed, pushed back, and he didn't mean it bad. He just, you know, oh, wasn't, he, the one that said that? yeah, I wasn't pressing him to get it done, is what he means by that. So, but I am going to start pressing just because. <laughs> You know, like I told you guys, the red car that we're driving right now for work is really uh, tears me up badly. It really does make me hurt. Uh, so I do need to kind of get the other car on the road, you know, because it just makes for a... Okay, make sure I get everything. Um... I'm going to use her glue. I think her glue has a tendency to stick harder. <coughs> I just saw right that dumb yeah. glue. Huh. I, I just saw it this morning. Sorry, guys. I, there it is. <coughs> but we got to start. Sorry. It's time to start going to the mountains and start looking it for is. stuff. I'm getting, I need to get out. The mountains are my, getting away spot. yeah, kind of my refuge from everything, you know, even though I do, uh, you know, I hurt so bad, it still is, um, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but, you know, kind of like my heaven and it helps me get my mind clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a peaceful. It is. Getaway. You know, this job is is very mentally. It's an extremely draining job. It really is, and and it just it's nice to have have um, that 
might be able to get away from it. It's just, yeah, it, this job can really eat you up if you're not uh, careful. It really will eat you up in a hurry. So it's kind of nice to have that to get away, you know. You know and, and physically, but it's nice to get up in the mountains to, to walk and hike around. We don't, aren't able to, I'm not able to go like on a mile long miles high just because you know I have to save all my energy for work and that's just the way it is that's the way it's always been is you know when once work is done I don't really have that much energy so but we go up and hunt mushrooms of course and take pictures I've always been into photography my mom taught me and she's a very good pr photographer too So, you know, it's, it is, it's my getting away place. I need it badly. It helps me deal with the pressure of this job. You know, when you have to work with people, it, yeah, it has a tendency to eat you up. I'm not going to, I'm just going to sew the where it is, guys. I'm not going to move it over to the end. I mean, you guys see me sew countless times, so let me my our little girl little gracie girl she has decided she goes underneath my sewing machine like jazzy land dead so everything gets hairy of course but it's too cute you know i've been trying to get a picture of her but i haven't got it yet hopefully sometime this oh I hope I do it. yeah she's pretty fast right now <laughs> She is, boy, it's just funny. She is, she is a very, very special little girl. I tell you, she definitely has her heart. Uh, I told Shell, huh, get one of those fish ones that go on your, your tablet for her. I want to see what, because we've never oh, done that. Aquarium little aquarium. And so we did that, and oh, Lord, she'll come up and she'll look at you your tablet and she'll want you to turn that stupid fish on it's hilarious it's so cute she loves it okay oh come on crap hold of that dang it there we go oh gonna have to do this upside this ain't gonna work uh just for any for if you guys have a chance to do this do not sew it right side up. Hold on. Dang it. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. Make sure your fabric's down because your feed dogs won't grab hold of the plastic. So, let me turn it over so my feed dogs will grab hold of it. So I still haven't gotten the wood. I have been so exhausted and ready to get home. So I haven't stopped by the hardwood floor place. I don't know if I told you. I think I did. But they have, they have like a, oh, a, oh, what do you call it? Like a semi kind of, of uh, scrap stuff. Scrap wood. We decided that was the best way to do it was to use scrap hardwood flooring to do my uh, sewing base for my other sewing machines. So I haven't had a chance to get by there. I've been wanting to. And I just been like I said. I get to, I'm tired by the time I get back and you know I got home. Actually, I had a pretty pretty good day Thursday. Uh, the pain wasn't horrible, which was nice you know and but I just I had food in the car well no I didn't I had got I forgot I got a gallon of milk I forgot I didn't even go grocery shopping so so I just really just was wanting to get home so maybe tomorrow I might it's just right down the road actually it's really not too far from us and they have so much neat stuff so I'm having some neat ideas I'm hoping they're gonna work 
to, to do the base of it. I'm really excited about it. We'll see, you know. But I'll show you guys everything that I do, and that way you guys know what's going on. And I know a few of you have said that would be so much fun just to see the progress of it. So uh, I might try to use part of the uh, treadle machine, treadle base and stuff, the wood from it. Uh, I don't know. Thinking about taking one drawer on each side because it's not going to be really a portable not like the singer is so i'm thinking about adding drawers to it did i tell you about that no you didn't yeah the only bad thing is the drawers are long and so it's going to be it's going to be you know deeper than i had well, don't do it too um extensive or you just won't get it done Oh, no, I, I won't have to do anything. Oh. No, it's just, I'm just going to use one of the, two of the drawers is all. And, um. Two what drawers? The treadle drawers that I got with oh. it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Use two of those, one for each side of it. Yeah. I got it figured out. I think it's going to work really neat. So, um, ironing this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go, actually. Uh, let me pause it. I'm going to grab my smaller iron pad. Okay, guys, I got my smaller cutting mat. Uh, when I bought these, I had a, it was a set of three. It, in all honesty, it wasn't too bad of a price. Um, Shell bought me, you know, I've been using, well, I've been using those silicone pressing mats, and it, uh, got on my iron and I wasn't too happy about that because it shouldn't have and it did and it was kind of you know I mean if you have a mod modern iron I understand but you know mine's antique and I don't want it to get ruined oh yeah that will work just fine guys wow nice and rubbery didn't melt it so we're good there but yeah, I don't want all this on my iron, you know, it, with it being such an old iron and it's in such good shape, I really don't want it to be messed up. So, and actually my iron's on low, very low. I, uh, not, um, not hot at all. I turned it off because I wasn't really using it, so. Yeah, I mean, you can tell it's hot. It's really um, soft and malleable. Not whatever. Flexible. So, but I'm excited about this because we had, wa I wanted, you know, I had told you guys when I did this that I was really excited to figure out how to do other stuff behind the window pane. So, hopefully... And I actually got another fabric while we were outside, so I'm gonna do another one. Probably just do a travelers. We're not hurting for fabric. No, we're not hurting for fabric. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to do another uh, notebook, travelers notebook, just because of the fact that. Out what? Uh, out of the other fabric that we found while we were out there, the starry night fabric. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, no, it's all right. So, what I was going to say, uh, what I was talking about, the those butcher. are, what is it, butcher, butcher paper? No, parchment paper. Parchment paper. Baker's. Shell, Baker's. Uh, Baker's paper. Shell found these, and it's a sheet. It doesn't come on a roll. Oh, maybe it's parchment. I think it is parchment. And I tell you, it's nice. It really is. It makes things a lot easier. Like I said, the, the other mats messed up my iron yeah, the ones you well i mean they're silicone mats but yet the sticky crap stuck to it and it shouldn't do that so it was kind of yeah you know it sucked plain and simple it sucked because <laughs> then i had to clean my stupid iron again i don't know 
good at cleaning it. I'm good at cleaning it. Yeah, I've had to clean it quite a few times. Some of it was my fault. That, but that wasn't. That should have never. That sticky stuff shouldn't have stuck. That's the whole point of having that silk cone crap is it don't stick to anything. Exactly. You so, me. yeah, I was just, I wasn't too happy about it. As I'm going to tell you, it's not, it's a pain in the butt to, to do it. I have well, found, yeah, because I mean, that's the whole point. Yeah. yeah. I have found better ways to clean it now that are much easier. I actually use a razor blade. And I, uh, uh, scrape it and it comes right off if the iron's hot or just a flat razor blade so but you know before I had to clean it other ways I'd and kind of put some deeper gashes in it so you know I had to wet sand my iron with high grit sandpaper so I could get it smooth enough and it still needs to be ironed more, you know. I'm really excited about this. I can't wait just to see how this is going to work, you know. Yeah, it's kind of a pain with that clear, with the window pane because it's kind of hard to see the ed edges of it. That I'm using my cutting mat that I sprayed. I have to give you the guys the give you guys the number or the name of that spray. I might have it listed below. You, I'm not she sure. might. I saw the, I'm pretty happy with it. After using this mat and my other mat, the other mat is it's just a pain to use because it just wants to slide everywhere. This doesn't, so it's kind of nice. I'm really like that but it works really good to use that mat spray to spray the mat you know well you have to look at it kind of from the edge to see the edge of that vinyl so wait i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm going to stick this down yet or we'll see it's gonna uh where <clears throat> See now to now that there's the time I'm having my brain just messed up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, guys, my brain messed up. So, uh, <laughs> that's just part of the fibromyalgia sometimes. At least that's what he claims. Well, I think it is, because it could Cause be. Because my brain did the same thing when he handed it that's to That's true. I'm like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, I had it right, but I wasn't, yeah. So, that was the part I was having a hard time with was, how is it? supposed to go to so line my edges up really good um, looks like maybe it needs to be scooted up just a little bit there we go uh, that does look off but the thing is is this piece right here didn't iron completely all the way out so do that okay oh i tell you some days so yeah we'll probably edit edit some of this video out and it we, still may be a two-parter but we'll see um hey not to show you because i don't know 
Yeah, because this is a different, to different than the first one I did, so. I hate not to show you, even if it is a two-parter, I guess, you know. Uh, like they, like you, so many of you guys said, you know, you're not wasting, we're not wasting your time. And if you are, that, you know, we can, we can always hit the forward button or whatever you call it. So, I'm just making sure I'm lined up on my... The thing about the vinyl that is, I guess would be a curse and a, is it sticks together. So uh, it's actually easier to get your seam straight because, yeah, it's, so let me try not to touch them. I really want them to dry good before I sew them. So. But, so I'm excited I don't have to work tomorrow, good Lord willing. We're just going to claim it. Yeah. You know, you know, I've been, I've had fibromyalgia, I think, for about 18 years now. So, um, the pain's different now than it used to be. The fibromyalgia was really bad, affected my leg super bad. And, um. But now, you know, the pain I have now is neuropathy. And that's just from my disc that's pushing on my spinal cord. I mean, I still have the fibromyalgia, but it doesn't really affect me like it used to. Uh, some, a lot of my pain's actually from my back. and Just, you know, I've never... I've always put the job over... Over work over my health. health I always have a voice you know that's just, who, yeah. that's just who I am and and I'm paying for it truthfully but I wouldn't have changed it you know I mean when you have someone that comes up to you and shakes your hand and thanks you for probably saving their life that really does mean a lot but exactly. you know and I know that was the whole reason why I've done this job is because it does affect a person's life so much but, yeah, there comes a point that you do have to kind of say, okay, I need to, you know, it's time to start thinking about my shell and me, you know, and making sure, you know, start taking care of us too, you know. Uh, it's my time of working is getting... It feels like it sometimes. But not sewing. Not sewing. I enjoyed, the, you know, no, this you is. Have the, yeah, the strength to sew. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to work. It really and truly is. It sucks, you know. I never thought. I can't say I never thought. But it's definitely getting harder to do. Locating. It's such a physical job when you're walking. You know, you're walking five or six miles a day or more. And not every single day is that way, but... Can't move the next day. Can't move the next day anyway, so it, it is kind of... Uh, it does Sorry take guys, a toll. Just <laughs> She's just jabbering. That's what we're good at here, guys. Hence the name. Oh, yeah, right. So I fed the chickens yesterday I think it was and you know she'll help me I I try not to ask her for help when it comes to chores because it isn't you know but I asked her for help and we dragged the food bowl we didn't even carry the dumb thing and yeah, well the food bag the food what, bag 50 pounds or whatever yeah they're 50 pound bags and I tell you I was so sore that Huh, I don't know why it's showing that then. Oh well, maybe it's just crooked. So we dragged the bag and fed the girls. The girls in our... We have two roosters. One's the... Um, the baby. The baby, which... He is huge. He got bigger than Daddy. But also, she's... The mom is a full-size chicken, and he... Yeah. The Daddy's a banny. I mean, he's a big banny, but... 
um, surprised that the the boy turned out so big. Because we were thinking about, we have other banny girls, and we need a rooster, because the rooster, they passed. So we really need to get in. So I'll probably end up taking the daddy and putting him in with the girls. So that's how it's going to look. With the little ones. With the little, little girls, yeah. We got four little banny girls. And so that's probably what we're going to do. And I was a, you know, if you grew up on a farm, roosters don't get along usually. So uh, we were really worried that, you know, he might, one of them might end up killing the other. But so far, they, they must be since their father and son that they don't. Fight, which I'm glad because it's not fun when you go out and both your roosters are, gone. roosters are dead. You know, it's it, and especially when they're, you know, you've raised them from chicks, they it affects you. So instead of that happening, I think that's probably what we're going to do. So I'm, I'm uh, chain piecing, guys. I, for those of you who don't know, uh, this way you don't cut, have to cut your thread after each piece. It's so much easier to do it this way, so much faster, and you use less thread. The bannies are really sweet. One of them is... There's two little golden girls, one smaller than the other. So they're really sweet bannies. You know, I, for those, when I first got sick, we actually had chickens in the front. So I had, our, I was pretty crippled up. I could barely walk. So it kind of, uh, really helped my mental state having the chickens you know so normally you don't want to uh, pull your your uh, when you're pressing them but probably just a little bit I don't want to I would say that yeah, doesn't really matter. So, so I would go out and I'd feed them. So the, the chickens are more my pets and my therapy than just livestock. You know. I really. We're not getting very many eggs right now. Either. No, I haven't been out last. I fed them the day before, actually, not yesterday, because yesterday I was crippled up, so. Getting out one, one egg a day. Yeah, I don't know why they're not laying, but it might be too molting season. I know a couple of them have been molting, but I don't know. I'll have to go out later and see. I got some, we, we had kale and meatball soup last two nights. And so we still got some kale, scrap kale, that I'll feed them. So they'll like that. Yeah, they'll like that more. And I think we have a few other things. We have some cherries and stuff too. But so okay, guys, that's this part. Get my thread, or not my thread. The cherries are any good. Yeah, the cherries probably are not any good right now. Yeah, probably not. I. I know we have some. I bought grapes. I need to clean my grapes. Some of them I know were kind of uh, soft. I hate soft grapes. That, that to me is the most disgusting thing. But I am a texture person. You know, you say, oh, I wouldn't like snails or, and I've never tried them. And they, you know, so many people will say, well, you know, you don't know nothing until you try them. Well, no. Uh, with me, it wouldn't be flavor, it would be the texture of it. I couldn't handle that. I hate, like, soggy bread. It just makes me sick, so sick I hate it. So I need, 
one in between the windows and then the two on the outside um so let me but yeah so it's texture right oh yeah i can't handle uh soggy things bread pudding i don't like or anything like that dressing, dressing i don't eat dressing or anything and he loves cornbread but just not the yeah i don't i i enjoy cornbread but yeah i just don't like anything that is really gross and soggy it just turns my stomach so that's how i know yeah i know i wouldn't want snails some of this other stuff i've tried the snails my, my sister ordered them online yeah not a fan sounds pretty gross to me <laughs> not a fan i'm gonna iron my strips real quick i had all these were iron but they've sat around since i did it so so yeah i see things so many things that look so good but you know i know flavor wise they probably are but the other wise are i highly doubt that you know, was it being a food snob is that what people say i don't know you know you'll hear pretty good um, it's a little harder to get these to stick just because it is on that uh, vinyl so you gotta be kind of careful when you're maneuvering and stuff because that fabric will slide right off if you're not careful and I love mashed potatoes that's like my favorite Yeah, soggy bread to me is like the worst. She also, she dips her um, cornbread in milk. I actually pour milk on top of it. Yeah, well, yeah. But to me, that's so disgusting. <laughs> and Dad, he would just eat bread and milk. He would dip, dip the bread in milk. You know, I don't think I cut enough of now these. Now that I can't stand, but... Yeah, I think I might be missing one of the. It's probably close to. Time. Yeah. The timekeeper behind me saying, "It's time to, almost time to wrap this one up. Let's start on with the second part. Um, we and like I said, we may condense some of this to even a little bit, you know." So, it's like this, you guys have seen me do this before, so. Okay, I need to move my, oh, like I said, you gotta be really careful with it. Just set it there. I think I'm short one white piece. Again? Well, I think so because I don't think I counted for the corner, the center section. Huh. I think that I didn't count that, so oh. I only cut, cut four, to. and there should be, there would have to be five total because you'd have, no, there would have to be six total because then you'd have the one in the two in the center, so. Yeah, I am would be too short, so which is no big deal. I'll just iron more. I haven't put anything up. For sure is a nice uh, glue thing, little Bobber. You got big. A nice what? The glue thing. Oh, I know. That's from Kateri. Kateri, she did a beautiful job, Kateri. Yeah, it really is beautiful. Oh, guess what? Today's going to hold wind. Oh, yeah. And more wind. And wind. And more wind. Yes, we are under a red flag warning, of course. Again, today. Oh, I am so bloody sick of this wind. I am just, oh, I am so over it. Enough is enough. I 
let me glue this and then we'll wrap this section up I will start I'll sew these uh, off screen uh, but I'll, I won't sew them all completely you know I still got a little bit more to show you but I'll sew the strips on while I'm not taping recording whatever man I think it's hard to hit that yeah I definitely would be too short oh wait a minute am I messing this up no no I'm not because I'm only putting one on okay Sounds like the cats at Cider Me Yeah, I think that's Yeah, we actually had some rain. It wasn't a whole bunch. It was a little bit more than a sprinkle, thunder and lightning, but that was about it. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to let these dry for a second. I'm going to sew these up. So when we come back in, in tomorrow's video, we'll keep going. Uh, once I get these the windows together, it really won't be too bad after that. So, uh, please hit the subscribe button and, and, and uh, please give the video a thumbs up. We do appreciate it, of course. And we, we just want to thank you for uh, visiting and becoming our YouTube family. That means a lot. and that, We say that all the time, but that's truly uh, the way we feel. So, um, we're going to let you go. Is my lovely wife going to say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. I love her, I tell you. <laughs>